Bring up the uh, screen. <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, since I got my ass wrecked on the screen and I was talking to myself, we're going to do this round two uh, with Pulse Chain. You know, I talk to my audience about this all the time and why you really shouldn't be complaining about where we are at. Now, let's go to the hourly chart. And we're really going to break down what has happened with Impulse Chain and the way Richard Hart markets. Now, I'm very similar on how I market my brand. And I understand Richard Hart and how he markets his brand because we're very similar in what we do. But you guys know that he likes to call it from the bottom. Now, we all know the BS that happened at launch. The bridge shut down. No money could come in. But for some reason, the price went down to four zeros and a two eight. Now, let's fast forward to this. You had a couple of opportunities, but let's be for real. Very few people during this time, during the 16th, 17th, and 18th, could actually buy that. I know I couldn't because I didn't have no money coming through the bridge. And by the time the money actually got through the bridge, poof, 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 it went up and went crazy. Now, here's the thing. We went up, it went crazy, and then you hear Richard Hart say, hey, guys, we're 15x from the bottom. <laughs> and including myself, was pissed. You have a right to be pissed too? Because I'm like, bro, we ain't no damn 2 at 10 at 15. And I couldn't buy this. The bridge wasn't even open. So I just got my sacrifice amount and I'm up 2.8x. Yippee yay yay yay. But then a crash happened. Boom. You had an opportunity to buy from the bottom. You had an opportunity to buy at the bottom. You had an opportunity to buy at the bottom. You had an opportunity to buy at the bottom. A little bit higher, but pretty much close to the bottom. A little bit higher, close to the bottom. A little higher, close to the bottom. And then it goes up again right where I told you it would go by a certain date. And then he says, still up 10x from the bottom. People were still bitching. I saw the tweets. We're only up 2x from sacrifice. But they didn't buy this. 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 They were too scared. Bitching. Just too scared. 2x from the bottom. Once again, back at the bottom. We're <laughs> back at the bottom. A little bit higher in the bottom. If it even goes a little bit lower, you're back to where you could have bought here, 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 and here. You don't deserve it, so likely it's going to be a little higher. But in the end, all we're doing is going sideways. The traders would buy this. They would sell this. They would buy this. They would sell this. They would buy this. Guess what happens next? They're probably going to sell this. And then what's going to happen next? They're probably going to act like they're going to buy something lower, but they're not going to get it. And it goes higher and it goes higher and it goes higher and it goes higher. They don't come down and retest that breakout. But I know the market of the OA. And I looked at hex prices from beginning to end. And he loved to front run magnets. So you think you're going to be able to get it here. And you won't. It'll be here. And it won't get in. And it'll come up and react and go up. And then it'll probably get in around here to here because they realize they're not getting that low. And then when Richard Hart says, we're up 50x from the bottom, those are the people that are going to be bitching out saying, well, we're not 50x from the bottom. We're right here around set price. Mute those people. Block those people. Because they had opportunity to buy here, 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 here. Here, here, and here, and didn't. You'll see them come out, I promise you. 
That's because they didn't take advantage to be able to get that 10,000 X from the bottom and they're too busy worrying about the set price amount. So you either degen your way into more coins or come up with your hard earned cash and buy more coins. And it's okay to buy the bottom because there's going to be an opportunity in my opinion, not financial advice later on in this bull market to where it goes up and you actually can say, I had an opportunity to buy the bottom of that 10,000 X because I don't believe that opportunity was in hex. I do believe that opportunity, that opportunity wasn't even right here. However, that opportunity is here, 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 and here. So it's up to you guys. This is a market. It's up to you to figure out how you are going to work this market. My recommendation, you have an opportunity of a lifetime at this price. This is the price Rackham got in around. You're literally getting his price. There is no complaints. There is no BSing. You have the opportunity to get his price of the sacrifice. It's it's a break even. Everyone's equal right now. No one's more special than the other. So do what you got to do to win. Stop bitching. And when you hear those people complain about, no, we're only up from this amount of sacrifice, block them. They're negative energy for this bull market. Go win.